And speaking of transferring antibodies, all new at 5.30, a North Carolina mom's exciting discovery about the COVID-19 vaccine. Katie Robertson says after she received the vaccine, she was able to pass the antibodies onto her 10 month old son through breast milk. Medical experts tell us it was already known that moms who are naturally infected can give antibodies through breast milk. And now this case demonstrates vaccines can do that as well. WCNC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is taking a deeper dive into whether the vaccine is safe for breastfeeding moms. If you're a mom who's breastfeeding, you may be thinking, well, it's good she was able to pass the antibodies onto her son, but is it safe? Tonight, we try to answer that question. Should moms who are breastfeeding get the COVID-19 vaccine? To answer that question, we turn to several experts, including Dr. David Priest with Novant Health, Dr. Aaron Piramzadian with StarMed, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and Katie Robertson, a nurse practitioner with a unique personal experience. As a nurse practitioner and a new mom, there's not any studies on breastfeeding moms. Katie Robertson did her research. I was hesitant at first actually to get the vaccine because I was breastfeeding. But after consulting with her doctor, she decided to take a shot, literally. And said we would do the vaccines and we would follow antibodies on the baby to see if it was crossing through in the milk. And after her first COVID-19 vaccine, Robertson says she had antibodies, but her 10-month-old, Jameson, did not. And this is mine, which again shows the IgG, which shows the antibodies. Robertson tells us her breast milk also registered antibodies based on the bottom pink line of this test. And sure enough, 12 days after her second dose, she says her baby did too. It's not super strong, but there are antibodies present from him receiving the antibodies from my breast milk. I was very excited and very happy to see that um, it is crossing through and hopefully to be able to educate other mothers that were scared to do it. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, theoretical concerns regarding the safety of vaccinating lactating individuals do not outweigh the potential benefits of receiving the vaccine. There's not really a, a scientifically plausible way that that would be harmful to a child or only be beneficial as mom passes antibodies for, for all sorts of uh, pathogens onto an infant. We know when people actually get sick, they can pass their antibodies onto the babies and protect the babies from breast milk. Now that we're seeing it with the vaccinations, it's even more amazing. Robertson says her son has had no issues since she received the vaccine. So far, he's done great. And she's hoping she passed along some level of protection to him against the deadly virus. Should he come in contact with somebody or I bring it home from work, he's going to have some antibodies already in his body, so he should be able to fight it better and not get as sick. Robertson says since she and her husband have been vaccinated, everyone in her family should have some level of protection, except for her six-year-old son, who is not eligible for the vaccine. Alex Shabad, WCNC Charlotte.